The announcer says with a booming voice, in this corner, weighing 250 pounds, the reigning world champion, and he gives you a name spiced up with descriptive adjectives. The crowd cheers wildly in anticipation. Then he revs up the crowd announcing the opponent with an equally ferocious nickname. It is a winner-take-all match. As you anxiously await the opening bell your coach gives you last-minute instructions. The instructions include inspiring encouragement but also what you need to hear to be successful in battle. The bell sounds and the action begins. You dodge what you can but absorb many powerful punches. The battle is on. Except for a few fictitious details I am not describing a boxing match but the battle we face every day in the real world, life itself. There is no play-by-play -play announcer but we do face fierce opposition. It is more like a tag team match because sometimes challenges seem to come at us from all directions. We endure many punches from all directions as we go throughout our day. Our life is composed of many rounds, as we pass through the phases of our life. Make no mistake about it, life is a battle. We may get knocked down a few times but hopefully we get back on our feet to resume the battle. Who do you have in your corner to prepare and support you as you fight the battles of life? Ask yourself who is in your corner as you consider these questions. Who in your life keeps you grounded in the faith when things get difficult? Who do you call when you need to talk when you need someone you trust? Who encourages you to get over the hump when you need a course correction or a gentle nudge? Who has faced similar challenges and can provide helpful advice because of their experiences? Who challenges you to do your best, especially if your best is more than you thought capable? Who in your life has their priorities right and can be an example for you of keeping life in perspective? Who do you go to for truthful advice, telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear? Who can you count on to never let you down? even when others run away? Who loves you unconditionally, regardless of failures and mistakes? Who loves you for who you are? Who has helped you get you where you are and will want to see you succeed? Who is willing to lighten your load at critical times so you can focus on addressing a particular issue or task? One of my favorite Mercy's Well songs is called I'll Never Be Alone. The song reminds us that God offers us grace, hope, mercy, peace, strength and, wings to keep on soaring every day. God is your first line of defense and, will never leave you or forsake you. Hebrews 13, verse 5, and Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. But it is also important to surround yourselves with people God has placed in your midst to be there when you need it. We pray our friends will help us but point to God as they do. As the song says, we are never alone in the great unknown adventure, called life. We all need people who believe in and are supportive of us. The above list is seemingly endless, but hopefully you can think of one or more names for each question. We each have different needs, but the point is, we all need people in our corner. When the final bell sounds we are hopeful that God will raise our arm in victory. The Bible says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their work, if one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Ecclesiastes 4, verses 9 to 10. The question for meditation is, who are the people in your life who provide you with the support you need and remind you of God's love for you? Look at the questions above and fill in names of people who are there for you. Let us pray. We thank you Lord for your unconditional love. We thank you for placing people in our lives to help us through the tough times and to point to you as the source of our blessings. Amen. Amen.